welcome to Stitch and Bear Time. My name is Leslie, and this is Little Bear. Oh my. Someone was having a nap. I'm sorry. I did wake him up. He'll just go back to sleep after this. Um, but I'm trying something new. So let's talk Busoa with me and the bear. And we're going to go over some newer kits that are coming out. Just talk about them. It'll be like my opinion stuff, I guess. But I've always wanted to talk about this stuff with people. My husband just gets this glazed over look anytime I bring this stuff up. So I get to talk about it with you. And um, we'll kind of compare them to some like older kits um, and just talk about, you know, where Priscilla started and where they're going now. So let's have a good time. Yeah. All right, let's get started. sleep there yeah oh you're so good oh, such a good boy I love him maybe he needs like a I don't know a brother so anyway I usually like to go into marystockings.com and I like to go into their new releases because sometimes they'll post things about what's coming and then they'll keep up on that same tab you know some of the newer kits that got released and um, that's how I tend to keep up to date on some of this stuff, which usually leads me, leads me down the road of, oh, what was that inspired from? And are there kits like that that were older? Things like that. Um, one of them that's really big that just came out not too long ago is called Christmas Kitties. For anybody who's really big on Bucilla kits, you know what I'm talking about. Like, this was actually a really big release. And the original of this came out in 2007. So this Christmas Kitties Busilla kit is actually a re-release from 2007. And it looks exactly the same. That was so smart of Busilla not to mess with it. Because there's a reason why people want it so bad and loved it, right? So if they loved the original, you might as well just keep it the same. That makes sense. So I'm so glad they didn't really mess with the design. They just left it as is. And I really love that. Um, this kit got up pretty high on the market, like the, the 2007 one. What happens when kits get discontinued is because they're still wanted, but they don't make them anymore, they really increase the price of that kit from people who sell it, like on eBay or, you know, Etsy. They'll charge a lot for them. So Christmas kitties, you know, there was one on eBay for two hundred and like ninety dollars and this kit wasn't even put together yet <laughs> it was just the kit for this one right now mary stockings is charging 23 bucks for it but that's how high this kit got just because it was discontinued and so many people wanted it it would just it turned into a classic busilla kit that was well known so that happens to a lot of our kits um another one that comes to mind is christmas and oz and we will talk about that one but I would say if you are going to sell a vintage kit, this is my opinion, just so you know. Um, I feel like that sweet spot is like 50 to 100 bucks for a vintage kit. 100 for something like, you know, the Trio Nutcracker one, and then like 50 bucks for, you know, some, some other ones, just some normal ones that aren't as highly wanted, like the Nutcracker Trio stocking that I'm thinking of. That's a very good sweet spot. You know, I don't think I'd ever pay more than 100 for any kind of kit. I've never even paid 100 for a kit. But if I really wanted it so bad and it was that popular and that vintage of a kit, 100 would probably be my cutoff. At the end of the day, these kits that are vintage are worth as much as the buyer is willing to pay for it. So if you're going to charge 250 bucks for a kit, it might be there on the market for a while. You're really looking for a specific buyer. Let's look some of these up, okay? So, <laughs> all right, let's type in Nutcracker Trio. I wanna see how much this thing is being charged to buy it. Okay, so right off the bat, this is crazy. So like right now I'm looking at Nutcracker Trio. They're charging 350 bucks for this kit on eBay. 215 on eBay, 295 on eBay, one that's already pre-made, which most people want to make these, right? 500 and something dollars, 500 and some change. Wow. So that's insane. You know, so I'm actually really happy that Plaid slash Priscilla 
re-releases these kits because it just brings them down and I mean they're probably on the market for a long time when they're priced like that then when something is wanted that bad such as Nutcracker Trio it is definitely charged at a very high price um, and it makes it really hard to find it for a reasonable price so hopefully they'll actually re-release that there is a Nutcracker Busilla kit that you know, it's different. It's a lot more simplified, but it's not the Nutcracker Trio. That's the one that I would love to see re-released. Um, Are the Three Kings. I think that's also another good one. That's a beautiful one. There's actually one that's a little more detailed than that. I don't even know what that one's called, but that's the stuff I'm talking about. Um, but I would say 50 bucks. You're probably going to sell that kit. It's going to go fast. You know, that's a pretty good price for a vintage kit. And um, I guess it's just based off of personal opinion on that one. So the next one I want to talk about is Glass Slipper and another princess kit. I like them though. I think they're pretty and I mean what you know little kid doesn't love a good princess stocking. It, they're just pretty. Um, this one I feel like is very much inspired by like Cinderella slash Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Um, just, I, I know some people said in the Facebook comments, well, the color is off. If her dress is supposed to be blue for Cinderella. Well, I think, I think the colors work well. I think they just kind of looked at different princess videos and just put them all in one. And I think that's great. Um, I love the purple with the yellow with that creamy staircase in the background. I just think it's fun. And I really like her skin tone, especially with those red lips. I just think they did a good job with this one. So I'm excited to get it in the mail. It's coming. I can't wait to see it. You know, there was one kit that was released recently that I wasn't a big fan of, but it's grown on me and I did eventually buy it called um, Santa's Unicorn. Yeah, you probably know what I'm talking about with that one. It's so different from the other ones. That I think that's why at first I was like, eh, that's all right. But I actually saw a picture of it in a different light. And that's when I realized, oh wow, that's gorgeous. I just didn't see all of the embroidery work, I guess, in the original photo. You know, the unicorn one is just such a great kit, again, for kids, I think, or an adult who loves unicorns, that too. <laughs> um, but it, I think it's beautiful. I did buy it and I think that it will go well in my home as well <laughs> with all my other normal Musilla kits, you know. I like it now, it grew on me. So let's talk about Christmas in Oz. Oh, this stocking was definitely like one of the big reveals. Um, everybody was so excited on Facebook to see that they were re-releasing Christmas in Oz. And it is a re-release. The older one was released in 2010 and it looks exactly the same. Again, yay, plaid. Yay, Priscilla! They kept it the same. Yes! Um, and right now it's 25 bucks. That's awesome. It looks so good. I'm so excited to do it. I actually have it in my sewing room here. It's, it's you know, on my to-do list. This is one of those kits that also got super high on the market. I mean, shoot. I, I don't know if it still is. It's kind of been out for a little bit now. Let's see how much it's still charged for. Let's see. Christmas in Oz. Uh, they should have decreased the price. I mean, it got re-released. Let's see. Christmas in Oz stocking felt applique kit. 160 bucks on eBay. They also released the ornaments that go with it, so I got those too. And it's kind of funny because I remember seeing the really old ornaments on this kit. The, the way the packaging looks, let's pull up the picture here. That packaging is like 1970s, 1975, 1978, that range. That's how old these kits are sometimes. And Wizard and Oz, or I'm sorry, Christmas and Oz, I mean, it started all the way back then. They're different now, obviously, but that's like 1970s kit right there. Um, oh, the ornaments. Oh yeah, the older ornaments from, what year is this, 2010. They do look different from the newer ones they released just now. They they left out a couple things, I think. Those look different. 190 bucks. Hmm. Yeah. So, how adorable. And they got them out now, but they do look a little different. Um, more updated. A new stocking that I'm very excited for 
is called Night Before Christmas. I actually just got this one. Um, I'm so excited about this for a different reason other than it looks cute or pretty or whatever. When I look at this stocking, The Night Before Christmas, it just tells a story. And I love seeing that. You know, you see the kids in their bed sleeping under a quilt. I love that. Um, they're dreaming about, you know, candy and fun things, happy things. And then you see Santa there by the fireplace and he's like filling his stocking and like putting toys everywhere for the kids. I just think it just tells a story and I love that about the stocking. Very, very smart. Um, whoever designed that, you're a genius and please keep doing it. So very excited for that one. That's so cute. Uh, they also released some ornaments that match the stocking. It's also called Night Before Christmas, but they look different from what I expected based off of the title they were given. They look like little mice. And I mean, don't get me wrong, they're very, very cute, but I never would have expected this to be called Night Before Christmas. Um, this actually reminds me of an older kit that I thought of when I saw this. It's called, oh, let me look at my notes. It's called Christmas Mice. And this one was actually released in 1994. That's what it reminded me of, was that kit that I've seen. Um, and I think actually that, that vintage kit came with more mice <laughs> in it, bigger kit. But I mean, you buy two of these newer ones, you know, $23 times two, you'll get about the same amount as the older kit. And they look really similar. So um, that's awesome, they re-released those. Those are very cute little mice to put on your Christmas tree. Something else I saw that um, Brucella is doing is they have like a baby line that they are coming out with and I don't know if they've always done that or maybe I'm just now realizing it in the last couple months they have a baby line but they have this llama Brucella decorative baby pillow and I mean I think it's cute it's let's see where are the dimensions eight and a half by eight and a half all right let's go on to my cutting mat here that's like so let's get that, I guess. Um, I think that's cool. You know what's nice about these baby lines is they don't have the beads or the sequins on them. And that's really nice for people that have a hard time threading those beading needles. Um, you can get something from their baby line and you don't have to worry about that. You just do more embroidery work. And I think it looks really good. So I think that's kind of cute how they have a baby line now. So something you guys should be aware of. Okay, so one more kit I want to talk about is called Elegant Patchwork. I don't know if it's just me. I don't know if people feel this way, but I was really excited to see the stocking. I just think it looks so different from normal Bucilla stuff lately. Not to say they haven't done this before, in a way. It's not a re-release. It is different. But it's nice to look at it and you just don't see Santa, which I love Santa, but you don't see him in the stocking. You don't see snowmen. You don't see reindeers. You know, it's... It's other things in Christmas without being so obvious that feels Christmassy. I love that about the stocking. This kind of brings me back. I feel like it was inspired from Floral Patchwork. Yes, that one's a 1996 kit. And that's what this reminds me of. I've always wanted Floral Patchwork. I've almost bought it a few times. I always keep putting it off. <laughs> I should just buy it one day, honestly. But that's what this reminds me of. I think Floral Patchwork is a really cute vintage kit I've always wanted to do. And when I saw this one, I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna buy it. Kind of reminds me of that. And it, I love the colors. I think they did a great job with the design. Um, they've also, they've done a lot of patchwork ones. I mean, another one that I, I thought of too when I saw this was a seasonal patchwork. That was from 2004. What's another one? There's another, I've got a couple more. Christmas Patchwork, I wanna say. I didn't write that one down. But I remember that. That one I think does have Santa's face on it. Um, but yeah, just a few to mention. I love it when they do the patchwork ones. It just takes you away from the normal Bucilla stuff. Gives you something a little bit more elegant, like elegant patchwork to look at. All right, and that's it. That's all the ones I'm going to talk about for right now. Let me know in the comments if you liked this. Um, I just wanted to talk about them. I don't know. I just think it's fun to kind of bring up old pictures of older kits and look at the newer ones that are coming up. I will do this again when they get a bunch of more newer kits on the Mary Stockings website that um, we can go through. If you want me to go through some more newer kits right now, I can definitely do another video on the other ones I didn't pick to talk about. Um, I always have more to say about them. So just let me know in the comments if you like this or not. And we still have one more video to do. 
um, that is probably the one that most people were waiting for, which is starting our new Fusilla kit together. And it is called Dashing Through the Snow. So watch that video, it is coming out today. Um, it's the third one I will post and we will go through that stocking together. Okay, thanks so much guys. Thanks for watching Stitch and Bear Time and I'll see you all next time. Bye.